Well, there was a video though that was sent to us from iRocky83, which was watching you on the sideline. And we noticed some things here, Mr. Rogers. For instance, we wondered if you're ever gonna be able to get up on your toe. That was the big conversation. Look at the rock. Look at the rock and ooh, ooh we're up. Oh. Ooh, ooh, we're up. Boom. Ooh, boom. We're up higher oh, yeah. on that one. Now we appreciate the internet sleuthing there that Iraqi did uh 83 to get that. But there's a conversation now about you being medically cleared, and we see you going up onto your toes. We see you last week at practice. How do you feel? Where's your state of mind? And what are we thinking and talking about when it comes to playing football again? Yeah, I mean, I've been progressing steadily. Uh once I was able to start jogging, uh on the Alter G at about uh, between the eighth and ninth week, things have progressed uh, pretty good. I came out here uh, right before Thanksgiving, continued my rehab, and uh, was able to uh, get on the practice field uh, in a limited fashion the last three weeks. Most of my stuff has been, uh, like you've seen, kind of thrown on the side, individual work. This last week I took uh, QB Center Exchange. I did some stuff with the running backs. Uh, I've been doing the seven-on-seven uh, flight school, which is basically uh, twos and threes, P squad guys um, that I've asked to do uh, at the end of the day. So that's been fun to uh, to do that. Didn't do any eleven on eleven stuff. Um, I think the whole time it's been, uh, you know, hoping that we're still in it uh, because it it was unrealistic to think that I would be a hundred percent to be medically cleared um, at any point during the regular season. Um, I do feel like, uh, you know, in the next three to four weeks, uh, it would be very possible to get to 100%, um, but obviously not there. And, and so the conversation was uh, away from 100% medical clearance to a willingness to play, and that's never been a problem for me. Uh, in 2018, uh, when it was a rough year, uh, as Ty remembers, uh, we had uh, you know, a rough stretch. Uh, Mike got fired. Joe became the interim coach. Um, we uh, went and played Atlanta at home, beat them, and then went to Chicago and lost. Uh, I think they might have uh, won the division that day. We were kind of uh, eliminated from the playoffs. Next week we played the Jets, and there were a lot of people thinking, was it going to play or not? And, and my thought was always, well, I'm, you know, uh, nobody's 100% in week 16, but I felt like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling really good. Uh, I want to play. I want to be out there with the guys. We had a really uh, kind of magical game. That day, and again, it went to overtime that we ended up winning uh, on a touchdown walk-off to Devontae. Um, but that was, you know, I felt 100%. So there was never a question whether or not I should play. If I was 100% uh, today, um, I'd be definitely pushing to play. Um, but the fact is, I'm not. I've been working hard to, uh, to get closer to that. But I'm still, you know, 14 weeks uh, tomorrow from my surgery and, uh, you know, being medically cleared uh as 100% uh, healed is just uh, not realistic at uh, at 14 weeks. So I think everybody says that makes a lot of sense, okay? Like if you were willing to risk not being 100% to get back in there for a team that had a chance to go on a run and make the playoffs and do everything, I think that would have made sense too as people. I think we would have been like, all right, that makes sense. If he's at 70%, 75%, whatever it is, but they still have a chance to go on a run, this is still a storybook. Right. This is still a story. It still would have been. It still would have. You know. Again, we're we're in the hypothetical world, so it still would have been. I would have. You know, if we win Sunday, then I need to go through a week of eleven on eleven practice, taking team reps, seeing how I respond to that, seeing how much I can move in the pocket, uh, seeing uh, can I get out of the pocket. Um, so there still would have been a conversation. It would have just been. It wouldn't have been. Hey, we won. You're activated. You're for sure playing now. I obviously. Um, being a competitor, uh, I would have pushed it as hard as I could this week, but um, but it still would have been a conversation. I would have had to, you know, check all the boxes, practice well, respond well uh, the next day after some of these uh, 11 on 11 sessions, and then the conversation between uh, Woody and Joe and Robert and uh, Dave and the medical staff and Neil Elitrosh, uh and myself to determine whether or not uh, they were going to ultimately clear me. Okay, so there have been a lot of steps to get through, but there's potential that we would have been able to. Do you still feel as if all the hard work to get back as quick as you are was good? 
Like, you feel like we changed the – I think so. I think, like, you changed the thought on the Achilles this year, even though we're not seeing you back this week, apparently, or the next couple weeks, because the team has been completely eliminated. You're not at 100% yet. So do you feel like there has been a change? I think so. I think it's still a job well done out of you. I hope so. I hope so. I hope, I hope that uh, – you know, I have talked to a lot of different people that have sustained, uh, you know, Achilles injuries since mine. And passed along all the information that I could about what's worked for me and what hasn't worked. I'm still checking in on Kirk and Jalen and and JK and and all the different guys that I've gotten to know uh, during this you know difficult time. Um, but I think if anything, it, it shows if you were to have this injury, uh, you know, an off season workout, uh, summer workouts, or something that coming back to play is uh, not just a possibility but a, prob- a probability if you do it the right way and you and you rehab and be smart about your diet and. Obviously, I'm a firm believer in, in Neil and everything that he does and the amazing people, uh, Heather and Double A at Elite and uh, all their incredible therapists there. Um, but there's a lot of great people across the country who can do this rehab. There's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of different, like we joke about, modalities you can do to increase your healing. But I think diet is very, very important. I think getting on your feet as quickly as possible is very important as well. There's some doctors that don't do that. They take their time with it, which is fine. Um, I believe in, in getting on your feet and moving it quickly. And I think that there's hope that if you were to have the, an injury in the off season, that it, it's not out of the question to be ready for week one and definitely not out of the question to be ready for the season. So hopefully uh, this isn't looked at as kind of a one-year kind of loss of a year death sentence moving forward. And, um, you know, the surgeries have gotten better, the rehab – ideas have gotten better and there's ways to to supplement that through uh really through diet and and vitamins i think that can uh that can put you in a better position go ahead aj does coming back like at such a quick pace is it more are you worried that you're going to rupture that same achilles again or is it something else in your body that tends to go i know that when you hurt something you can make up for and uh, you know you tear something else like what do you what i guess is the biggest worry when you talk to doctors about coming back early well, it's it's what we talked about the entire time about the difference between stretching and stressing. You know, you got to allow that uh, that Achilles to heal up completely uh, before you're uh, stretching it. Um, but there's, you know, again, there's a lot of different ways to attack this rehab. I tried to get on my feet quickly and and kind of cut a lot of the protocols in half um, just to see if I can do it a different way. And I wanted to push it for the first two months as hard as I could and get to that eight week mark and see where I was at, and then. Uh, adjust accordingly the uh, the rehab schedule after that. For like at eight weeks, I felt really, really good. I was walking basically normal. I was able to start jogging on the Ultra G. Um, so that's why I pushed it as hard as I could. I wouldn't have done anything differently. Um, I wanted to, you know, to get back. Uh, were we in a position where we were looking like a playoff team and the possibility of uh, uh, – of getting into playoffs um, without me was was going to happen. Uh, being ready for first round of playoffs to me would be an absolute no brainer. I had kind of always circled the twenty fourth in my own in my head from the day I, I got hurt to the next day. I, I thought, okay, um, no one's come back quicker than eighteen weeks. Uh, Fourteen weeks would be the week of the Washington game. I'm going to put my sights on that, focus on that. Okay. Um, so I feel good about where I'm at now to uh, to at least there would have been a conversation about it. Um, but it was always going to be a difficult rehab and always going to be a difficult comeback. But, uh, you know, I'm thankful for all the people that reached out throughout the process, all the information that was shared with me, all the great, you know, attention I had from not just the amazing people here uh, at One Jets Drive, but everybody at Elite. And obviously Neil has been fantastic through this whole process. And, um, there's been a lot of these injuries, and I, I feel that, you know, through what I've learned on my own, through my rehab, through my own research, and through the research of, uh, you know, AAA and AA and Heather and all the amazing people well, I've been around, uh, you know, I have a better idea about uh, how to pass on the knowledge uh, that I've learned through this process. But, um, you know, there's always the fear about uh, re-rupture if you're, if you're going too fast, but uh, this allows me to... Uh, you know, I'm not going to slow my rehab down. I'm going to keep attacking it uh, every single day. But uh, now without a timetable uh, to come back, obviously we can uh, be as smart as we need to be. Yeah, we can't wait to see it all. And it's been an honor to learn all of this about the Achilles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've, mm-hmm. you know, I've learned more about the Achilles. I think the world has over the last 14 weeks than uh, 
than ever before. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate how open you've been about the entire process and how aggressive you've been in your rehab to get back and make it happen. And that Achilles factory, you know, it introduced us to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. So Sweet. we're very grateful. You know, we're very grateful for it all. We appreciate you, though, man. Way to kick ass for this yeah. whole thing. Way to kick ass for this whole thing. There could be a lot of hard times during recovery and rehab, especially whenever you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before very publicly. Mm -hmm. You know, like kind of there's going to be a lot of people that want to. We appreciate you, man. Genuinely.